Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. Right. It looks like the sea, doesn't it? But it's not. I am in Umbria, and that is Lake Trasimeno, and it is the fourth biggest lake in Italy, and is absolutely stunning. This tour today is quite exciting because it's a new house which has absolutely everything that you want. It's been maintained meticulously by the present owners and I will tell you it basically at this point you're virtually off grid or will be very soon. You've got two air pumps at the back, you've got solar panels on the roof, you've got a hot water heating system, it's all fenced, it's got electric gates, it has a 12 by six meter swimming pool and it is just gorgeous. Two hectares, 150 olives. And when I tell you the price at the end of the video, you are going to say to yourself, that is great value for money. Are you ready? Let's go. Right, well, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the Vista because it is just outstanding and look at that view from the property now this property has no white road and there's a very small country road which leads down to the motorway far far away and then basically to Passignano, which is far far away no it's approximately about 20 minutes i it couldn't be better as a view really could it it is stunning, absolutely stunning. And as I mentioned, basically it has a 12 by six meter swimming pool, 150 olives. And we're just going to pop down here because I, I want to show you the pool, which I think is just beautiful. Now, I think we'll do a little bit of history while we're walking down to the pool. 217 B. C. Now that's a long time ago. Hannibal camped just to the right over the top of the hill and came down and basically there was a battle with the Roman army and he won and there was 15,000 Roman centurions killed and left by the shore of the lake. It's just an incredible story. Right, back to the tour. <laughs> I mean, isn't that inviting? I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? It's got these really lovely, if I step back here, it's got these really beautiful steps. So you can just step into your pool. And then if I come and turn around so we can just walk and you can see the view It's stunning, really is absolutely stunning. Heaven on earth. Now west is to the right of me. Now I'm gonna pull back and then give you a 360 degree tour so that you can then see the house. Now the nearest shops is a small town called Castel Ragone, and that's no more than a 10 minute drive away. It also has a pharmacy, uh, a chemist, and uh, it's got a couple of restaurants and a couple of bars. Now, as we come round, you know, the house is gonna come into view and it's just jolly nice sitting on the side of the hill. There are CCTV cameras, and there is also internet everywhere. Yeah, wonderful. Something modern. Now, as we come down to uh, what is a barbecue area, and it's been jolly nicely done. You've got a a nice modern barbecue, a fridge, drinks maker, and a lovely area where you can get out of the sun and into the shade. 
Let's just pop down here. I can see a little sink as well. Maybe come in and the camera will adjust. And as it does, you can see that it is just a beautiful space. All your stacked wood at the end. And then they've cut all the lavender from around the grounds and they've just hung that up. Yeah, beautiful. As I mentioned, 150 olive trees. And this one here is an absolute whopper. And I will also tell you that that tree, well, I will guesstimate that that tree is three, four hundred years old. Phenomenal. What a day. What a view. Right, let's get into the property. So we're just walking along the path now and we're walking to what, what I would assume to be the front door once you've parked. You can come in through a back door if you've got a lot of shopping, um, but this is the door which I would suggest that you come in. In we go. All the windows are double glazed and they all have fly screens. So the moment you walk in, you've got this really super big dining room and a lovely dog. And as you know, I love animals. And then here you've got a open kitchen. Fully fitted, beautifully presented. And this thing coming into view now is a wood burning oven. And for any of you that like slow cooking, they are absolutely fantastic. It's not like an Arga, if you know that make, which is normally oil or gas. That is an Italian make which runs on wood. Very nice kitchen, stainless steel hob, dishwasher enclosed, oven, big refrigerator, central aisle. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got absolutely everything that you want. Lovely views overlooking the lake from the window, fly screens everywhere. Yeah, it's just great, isn't it? Really is beautiful. Now, a number of the rooms have been changed um, from their, well, what they are. There are extra bedrooms in the house. Uh, there are six bedrooms in total, um, but they're not all being used as bedrooms at this moment in time. Now, we're just gonna come across and walk into the TV room. And again, you've got these really nice arches, really nice modern windows. And I just, uh, with all the windows closed, You just, uh, you can't hear anything. Yeah, it's great. On this floor as well, there is a powder room downstairs. And I think we're gonna go over there and I can show you that. But that's a really good size. I've had a look around the house, this is the house this morning and all the bedrooms, and sorry, the bathrooms are absolutely fantastic, they're huge. All right, so that's the first of the bathrooms, or this is the powder room. I 
And then if we walk further down, very nice painting. And just to the right here, and we're going to get out there later. That's where I mentioned that you could come and park your car and bring your shopping in. But what also I think has been very cleverly thought of is that immediately as you enter, you have this huge larder. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's always nice having uh, having big storage areas, isn't it? To put all your things away. I think it's absolutely a necessity in a kitchen as well. Here's the return view looking over the dining room. You've got CCTV cameras, as I mentioned, but you've also got a video entry system. And now we're walking into the staircase, but I'm just going to show you first what is the ground floor bedroom. And if you come in here, now the owner's using this as an office, but again, it has the same window profile. And again, a beautiful view of the lake. It does look like the sea. I mean, the lake it, it is huge. So if you had somebody who basically had a mobility problem, this would be the perfect bathroom and bedroom for them. There's another space upstairs actually we could equally use as an office. Well, this is bathroom number one. And as we go in immediately, we turn to the left. You can see a really lovely, big shower. I'm gonna get in there. Yeah, I'm going to swing the camera around. I want to show you the size of this. I mean, look at the size of this bathroom. Lovely space. And toilet seat down, which I like. <laughs> Yeah, what a lovely bedroom and bathroom. If you didn't need an office on the ground floor, this would just be super. Absolutely fantastic. A lot of thought has gone into the maintenance and also the construction of this property to give a feeling of space. And in fact, as we go around, you see this is this is the main house, but as we, you know, come out from the front door, I'm going to take you out. There's a completely different or self-contained apartment, which is adjoining the building. All right, I'll be good the stairs. Let's go. Just going to pull up here. Lovely painting. Her daughter's an artist, and so therefore you can see some of her art on the walls as we walk up. It's a big tread, so you do get a feeling of light and space. Right, so first floor. Formal dining, uh, um, living room. And look at that. Modern house, spotlights.
wood burning stove or fireplace. It's been beautifully maintained. And if we pull over here, because I want to show you this, then you've got a door that leads directly out into the garden. I'm just going to push to the window. The camera might adjust. Yes, look. Oh. <laughs> and then there's stairs which lead down to the swimming pool as well. Yeah, very simple. Very clean. Bit flary now because obviously that's uh, we've got the light coming in from the windows. I'm going to come across and I'm going to show you what could be also if you didn't need such a huge space but you wanted somewhere to work is another room. Yeah, I just think that's lovely. And it has a super view. Sliding stained glass door. I've seen a safe built into the wall downstairs. So we've got a bedroom on the ground floor, which is being used as an office space. My voice is going to change a little bit because I'm walking into the staircase. And then here you've got a number of bedrooms. So this is bedroom one. And again, it's got a just a lovely room, big double bed. And I can see a terrace which is leading off from the double doors which are opening. I'm going to walk across and give you the return because I think that's important. And then we're going to uh, kind of pop in and I'll just show you the bathroom. Yeah, wonderful. Nice sink. Good sized bathroom. Nice shower. The quality of the ceramics which they've used is jolly nice. The execution and the attention to detail, the way that it's been put together is jolly nice. I am not a huge fan of silicone. They want to put silicone everywhere. And I can see looking at the bidet and the toilet that there is no silicone around the bottom, which I really like. It means somebody has spent a little bit longer installing it where they could have just stuck it to the floor. Yeah, I'm not a great fan myself. Right, so back into the hallway. Now, you might be saying to yourself as we walked into the hallway, uh, but where's the closets? <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, they are right here. And I think this is a jolly nice idea because as we walk into the dressing room, the owners have sourced a number of wardrobes. And I just think that's just so much fun. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Comments below. I just think that's just great to have a room of, you know, old wardrobes that you found for his and hers and just keep everything in them. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I love it. I really do. There's something I was thinking about for 
our utility space. I might actually paint mine um, a slightly different colour from the walls. Um, but, you know, nowadays, I mean, nobody wants old Victorian furniture. Now, that was a bedroom, and this is the bathroom, which is serving that bedroom. And again, it's just been beautifully put together. Lovely big shower at the end. Really nice. Has absolutely everything. Again, no silicon. And if we pull over, we've got bedroom number three. So one bedroom downstairs and three bedrooms upstairs. And look at that. Yeah, very simple. Modern materials. Oh, I do like that painting. Yeah, I really do. I think that's beautiful. I'm going to show you that. Yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Again, a terrace going out with two uh, double doors or uh, one French door, as they say. And then we're going to just move into this bathroom. So three bathrooms en suite. This is probably the smaller one that I've shown you so far. But to be honest with you, it's, it's just, that's a jolly nice bathroom as well. I'll be very happy with that. Heated towel rail. Right, now, if you wanted to have <clears throat> a large wardrobe or a built-in closet, it could go behind that door and just to remove the bookcase and the paintings and maybe put them and the pictures and put them somewhere else. And then you can build a great big cupboard for this room. Well, that's it, main house, beautifully done. Beautifully kept, just really nicely finished. Okay, I'm gonna have a small cut and because I'm gonna get down the stairs and then we are going to move in to house number two. Right, I'm now back on the ground floor in the dining room and we are just stepping out of the front door with our fabulous view. I am really stunning. <laughs> A fly has just flown into my into my mouth. Okay, I'm gonna pop down because I want to show you the electric gates and then we're gonna go into the second house. I'm just gonna pull up so as well while we're getting down there so you can see it. It's got a rendered and painted facade. Right. You can see the electric gates and there is the country road and there is a car. Right. Incredible. I suppose there will be a little bit of traffic, but you're, you know, it's such a small country road. And what's so nice about it is that you don't have kind of a bumbling white road and dust all over your car. You know, every time I clean my car, the next day it's filthy again. Right, in we go. Let's see if we can get some lights on. Oh. Well, isn't that nice? Well, that's super actually, isn't it? You come in immediately into a living room, there's a wood burning stove, and then you have an open plan living room and dining room, and well, there's a table and chairs, and a kitchen. And I just think, oh, that's, that's really nice. How lucky would you be to come and stay here on holiday? I can see a dishwasher and a cooker four burner hob 
beautifully presented. Oh, <laughs> I can also see a fondue set. I can remember when they were all the rage. Some nice pictures, lovely taps and the kitchen. I'm just going to come around and give you the return. Oh, you're in a lovely space. Wow. Wow. Okay, what else have we got? Yeah, the woodwork would be nice in the winter. Right, that is a cupboard. I'm sure it's it. So I don't know whether we're going to go in here, but I'm just going to oh, heat a towel room. Just put my head around the corner here. Oh, is there any light? Oh, I can't hold the gimbal with one hand. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there's a theme. Yeah. Really good bathroom. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a toilet seat up so far. All right, I'm just going to pull over. That gate is huge. Really is huge. A lovely shower at the end as well. Yeah, nice shower tray in white. It's going to come out there. I'm not going to open the door on the left. I know it's a cupboard. Well, I feel it's a cupboard, so I don't think we need to go in there. Again, when you step out, I don't want to label the point of how beautiful it is, but I mean, look. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, upstairs, I think. Let's have a rummage around there and see what we can find. I am going to take you into the tech room for all your, you techie guys and girls out there because I just think it's really important to see the kind of the attention to detail and also at the same time, the effort which has gone into making this house self-sufficient. Make a great rental. Oh, look at that light, look. Oh, that's lovely. I like it. Right, so you come up to the top floor. Ah. Well, that's a nice size room as well. That's like being in a hotel. Wow, you wouldn't have thought that's somebody's private home, would you? Well, I must admit, when I have friends come to say I do put a hotel for them, but again, you've got this Double glazing, fly screens, modern. Yeah. The camera probably needs something to, I'm gonna pull across quickly because it might go out of focus. It doesn't really like, or it finds it very difficult to focus on white. All right, so what do we now? Uh, this is this is bedroom number five. Yeah, great. So you've got a bedroom uh, bathroom downstairs, and then another bathroom here. So you don't have an ensuite, I assume, unless we're going to go in and find one in a minute. And again, that's just really jolly nice. 
What a nice bathroom that is. It looks like it's never been used. So last bedroom. Again, the light streaming through the windows. Oh, this is the, this is probably the smallest bedroom. Oh, it's perfect for children. Yeah, it's not, it's not absolutely huge. If I come across, one thing I have noticed that there is no aircon that I can see, which is interesting. And I am assuming that the, the roof is insulated and the windows are insulated. So as long as you don't have the windows open, letting in the hot air, you should be able to be quite cool. That has a wardrobe in this room, which has been, it looks relatively new. But I think for your guests, that would be fine. You wouldn't need more than that. Right, here I am at the back of the building and I showed you the French doors at the end that you can see directly in front of the car. And that is where you would park and then bring your big shop in for the week. Those two huge units um, are basically air pumps and one is doing the ground floor and one is doing the first floor. The apartment, which we saw, is running on gas. Now, I wanted to show you this because I think this is really quite exciting. And every time I go into a property, I always want to come and have a look at the tech room because invariably I see the quality and the expense of the installation. Now that you might hear buzzing a little bit. That is basically the solar panels, six kilowatts on the roof. And here are the storage tanks for the outside units. And then here, if we pull down, and you will going to get some flare, but you've got to the left a gas central heating system for your guest house. Two water containers, which are basically free hot water. And your expansion tanks at the end. And, you know, your air pump instructions and everything which have been basically put and ready for you if you need them. It's a good make that. Yeah, I think this is really well done. You can see all the copper piping has insulation on it. Um, I didn't mention the fact that basically there's town water and there are two wells. And I'll give you the full specification of everything in a minute. <laughs> right, what have we got? We've got two hectares of beautiful mature gardens, 150 olive trees, two hectares of land, all completely fenced, electric gates, CCTV, air pumps, solar panels, hot water system which is pumping water around which is on the roof which heats your water comes down and goes into those water tanks and so you've got free hot water outside I didn't mention to you there's an electric plug for your electric car uh, it's it's got all the kit that you want video entry <sighs> two wells one is 35 meters deep, one is 110 meters deep with an unlimited supply of water. And there is 10 cubic meters of water storage 
in the garden for the irrigation and you've got pop-up irrigation so you can if you want have green grass all the year round. The house is 343, 344 square meters internal net space. So you're dealing with over 400 square meters gross space. It's got so much going for it. 3,200 euros a year for the property tax and the rubbish tax is about 700 euros a year. It's got everything. Everything you want. 12 by 6 meter swimming pool with these steps that you walk into. Luxury. Absolutely. And the price. The price of this property is 1 million four hundred and ninety five thousand euros. I hope you got it right. My name is Nick Rand and these are my Italian one take property tours. We have arrived at the magic hundred thousand subscriber mark and that is all because of you. So for everybody who has subscribed to this channel, I, I, there's tears on the inside. There, there really is. I just can't thank you enough. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, we are now heading for the mighty 200,000 subscribers. Could you please push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Ciao.